Hello, I'm Max Snodgrass, and I'm standing in front of the Hal Marcus Gallery at 1308 North Oregon Street in El Paso, Texas. This gallery first opened its doors in 1996 to serve local artists. Directly across is the home of Mr. Hal Marcus, and I'm looking forward to learning more about his work here in the city. What's Hello. going on? Hello. How are you doing, man? Great to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for inviting us into your home. Hey, today. anytime. Anytime. It's a beautiful day. This house was built over 100 years ago. And in the house, we have about 100 different artists. 350 works of art. 300 page book. It has all the paintings. This is my pride and joy. Have this. this is my Manuela Costa original, which many say is. One of the most beautiful ones he ever painted. You know, you knew Manny. Yeah, yeah. He was a friend. Of he was a friend of mine. Yeah. And this is our our dining room, my grandmother's antique table. All local art. Everything I have in the house is local art. Ipaco is the early El Paso art collectors organization, and some friends and I founded it four or five years ago. We're a group of people who collect. We believe in local art, and we get together every other month, and we have meetings, and we talk about new artists that we've collected, and we start um, documenting biographical information. Just recently, uh, Patricia and I started a foundation at the El Paso Museum of Art called the Hal Marcus Early El Paso Art Collectors Fund. It's a part of the education of the uh, visual arts. Then this is our kitchen. It's a part of my uh, Jewish Arabic tradition. We love it. <laughs> this is a four-story house. We have a basement and an attic. A lot more art upstairs. Julie Ford Oliver, Eugene Thurston, uh, Mario Parra, uh, Fern Thurston, Bill Sullivan, and Audrey D. Nichols. Cactus over here, Audrey D. Nichols. And the, the one underneath it is a Berla Emery. Early El Paso. Actually, I, I could see the gallery from uh, practically most of the rooms in my house. And the beautiful skyline, which inspires a lot of my paintings. Some of my best work of art are my, are my drawings. Hundreds, if not thousands, of sketchbooks like this that I've done over, over the years. And I really think they're some of my finest pieces. I even think that they're finer than my paintings, you know, but there, there's, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of appreciation for quick um, line drawings. This painting goes back to early in your life, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that's uh, my uh, sleeping gypsy period. During my divorce in the early 90s, I went to this whole period of uh, what I call them sleeping gypsies. It was a healing. As you know, it's a, it was a painful, uh, difficult time. I worked out this thing, uh, male and female, in their relationship to each other by this uh, eternal fire and the animals. It's kind of like going back to Adam and Eve and, and figuring out, trying to figure out the relationship between man and woman on the planet. The cool thing about this project that we're working on is you get a glimpse inside the life of an artist. Everything is artistic. Man of many hats. Hat, my hat, safari hat, English driving hat, Russian hat. They say we're eccentric, but we're actually normal. Everyone else is a little bit weird. And this is the one. I wore at the Night of Hope Gala. I'm Melania. And I'm Adelaide. And we drive miles and hours to support my dad. He's so amazing. And he's an amazing father, artist,
through the whole of the way. Because he brings love with his baby. He brings joy with his baby. And his beautiful family, his lovely daughters, his beautiful Patricia, his mamacita bonita, and his sisters, and everybody that knows God, especially the angels. All the angels that he invited are here. They did something beautiful with their lives. Would you please stand up or raise your hands? All the angels. For you to be here with the El Paso Diabetes Association, supporting a great cause with the help of Hal Marcus. Muchas gracias, Hal Marcus. Give him a big hand for that. Well, um, the Four Seasons of El Paso entered our permanent collection as a gift from a member of our community who wanted to make sure that there was a significant work by Hal in the permanent collection. And the four works really make up one concept, which are the Four Seasons of El Paso, and document um, a region in downtown or central El Paso. Um, shows the, the life and the animation and the um, happiness of living in El Paso. And I think that Hal's work demonstrates all of the happy things about El Paso. And I think that that's conveyed not just by Hal, but um, through his art, Hal can convey that message to the public. And in doing so, documenting kind of a place and time. That's a, a special place for, uh, and time in El Paso's current and, um, time and in its history. So I, I think his work is really joyous and beautiful and, and well-conceived and beautifully composed and extremely thoughtful and very personal. My favorite of the four paintings is the spring. My favorite painting was the winter, the summer. Is it winter? My favorite is winter. They're all a celebration of life. The painting makes me feel like a proud of Paso that I am. It's like I'm home with energy. His joy in his own neighborhood. Uh, what did you like the least? The, the birds. I, I don't think you can say you like art least. There, there's nothing I don't like in that picture. If you live with a Hal Barker's painting, how could there possibly be a least? You could come up with it. I try. Full name. My name is Marco Marcus. I'm living in Northeast California, and I'm a music producer and DJ, and uh, I make jewelry. Um, I'm so proud of my dad, and all he's been honored by the president and the Diabetes Association, Association and raising money for a good cause, and uh, I'm just so proud of him. Okay, my name is Gabriel Penix, and I'm from sunny San Diego, California. I came out with uh, my wife, Lelania, to celebrate Hal's uh, great event, and the Diabetes Association put on such a spectacular event. And I learned that he is a really big integral part of El Paso and El Paso early art. And I knew that from the, the, his, his Hal Marcus gallery. However, uh, seeing all the people and the reaction and uh, getting together in the community made me realize how much of a, an effect he's had on El Paso art and the El Paso community. And uh, maybe I didn't quite see that he was um, you know, that well appreciated in the past. And now I've learned that. I'm Lelania. And I'm Adelaide. We are the Shimmy Sisters. Dad. You. Love. Everyone. Abundantly. Eternally. And. Crazy. Full. <laughs> of. Life. We love you. <laughs> we love you, Dad. Thanks for being an awesome dad. Awesome community member. Teaching us how to be business smart and art smart and life smart. And we love everything that you've taught us and that you share with us. And that we just thank you for bringing us into this life so that we can enjoy it with you. Smart hearts. Smart. Full of art. You want to go see the studio? Let's do it. I decided to be an artist. I, um, I was lucky to have a teacher in high school, Yusela Fulton, who um, saw in me something that no one else had ever seen in me. She thought that I was a good artist and that I had a great sense of design. And she started showing uh, some movies, uh, some 16 millimeter movies that she checked out from the museum on Rembrandt, Van Gogh, and lots of these other artists. And when I started 
reading books and looking at the pictures and seeing these movies, I realized that there was a tradition in art that I wanted to be a part of. Uh, I was about 15 years old when Isela asked us in the class what we wanted to be when we grew up. And I remember saying I wanted to be an artist. And just a snap of the finger, and from that day on I was an artist. There was never any doubt of anything else I ever wanted to be. Uh, my name is uh, Romy Ruiz. I'm the executive director with Ronald McDonald House Charities of El Paso. Her offer here for families is um, a place for them to stay while their seriously ill children are being treated in uh, local health care facilities. We serve the recipient of one of Hal Marcus's more beautiful pieces, which is uh, the gorgeous um, view of what he sees El Paso as in his eyes, how he epitomized uh, the beautiful border southwest. And it's one of the focal pieces of the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, obviously, it's the first thing you see when you walk in. And it's got this beautiful uh, melange of fluorescent colors, bright, vivid uh, textures. And it's one of Hal's favorite pieces. He loves to bring folks by to take a look at it and it's one of our most prized pieces inside the house. My name is Don Meyer and I am a professor of pediatric surgery here at uh, Paul L. Foster School of Medicine. This is a phenomenal day of opening a freestanding, uh, separately licensed, non-profit children's hospital. To everybody that walks in the door will be quite pleased with what uh, Hal has done. I think that painting is fantastic and I thank Hal Marcus for uh, doing such a thing for this, this hospital. Dane Aguilar, I'm a reference librarian at El Paso Public Library, and I'm talking about Hal Marcus's art piece. He calls it Life in the Valley. I've known Hal, of Hal at least, since he was in this crazy band called Nuevo Huevo. So I've always been familiar with his art. One thing I love about Hal's work is his colors, his way he can really do something with colors. Really vibrant. He calls it Life in the Valley. For me, I always interpret it as a dream. This is a dream character floating out and what dreams are. So every time I saw this, I always thought about the nonsense of dreams. Dreams take bits and pieces of your reality and put them together in a jumbled fashion. And every time I see this, I think of the comedian Mitch Hedberg, the late Mitch Hedberg, who said, funny thing about dreams, one minute I'm awake, and the next minute I'm making go-karts with my high school PE teacher. Makes no sense. And that's what I always thought about this picture and how, was the color and the essence of dreaming. And I see it every day.